another episode of the Time Pressure Extreme Day Hiker. It's January 31st, uh, 2008. Today we're back at DuPont and we're going to experiment a bit with our new GPS unit. Um, this is an Etrex Vista HCQ uh, made by Garmin and it's loaded up with um, the topographical maps of the region and we're going to see uh, if we can find any um, uh, geocaches in the area as well. Now when you buy the GPS unit, it comes loaded with a base map, and the base map is going to have essentially no detail of wilderness areas. So next you have to buy your topographical map package and, and load that in. Uh, unfortunately that still will lack your local trail maps. Um, so one of your first projects can be to go to your area where you like to hike and to map out those routes. So looking at the GPS, we're coming on a uh, geocache up ahead in the trail. We'll try and find that. I preloaded this location uh, from uh, the internet earlier. Stella's having a good time today. So it looks like the geocache is down the Wintergreen Falls Trail. So I'm going to mark a uh, waypoint here for future reference. Okay, so looking at the GPS, it looks like the little treasure chest symbol is just off the trail and to the left. Um, and judging by the topographical markings, it's up uh, about 40 feet. So I suspect it's up on the top of this hill here. Let's go up and see. Well, best I can determine, this should be the location, maybe right here, but there's no box. Um, I'm looking all around here. Well, not a real successful first geocaching experience. Uh, there's another one up ahead, another geocache. Maybe we can find it. Okay, we're getting close to the second <clears throat> geocache site. It should be just up ahead here. We're only like 100 feet away, so it can't be far from here. There is a trail. I don't know if that's good or bad. Still is way ahead of me here. Well, didn't find the second geocache either. So now we're walking to another one by Thomas Cemetery Road. The leaves that were so fluffy and crisp in the fall are all compacted and crumbled. Here we are at um, Thomas Cemetery and the GPS is telling us we're right here for the third geocache and uh, it could be anywhere. I mean the accuracy is plus or minus 20 feet and this time I think I have got it down. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Stella's pretty excited too. What is it? Let's take a look. I should have asked you in the first place. Oh boy, there's all kinds of toys and stuff in here. And a pencil and a log book. So let's write it down. That's it, Stella. There's nothing else in there. So there you have it. There's the log book uh, and comments from other travelers. And we've left our comment. And we'll close it back up, put it back in the plastic and uh, put it back where you found it. So there we have it. My first geocache find. Figures raiding a cemetery. Okay, well, back on the trail. And uh, we'll start making our way back home pretty soon. Now, one of the problems uh, I've been having today, uh, I just solved, and that was that the compass on the GPS was not calibrated. So. If you do have a brand new GPS with an internal electronic compass, I think it's important to go through the routine uh, for calibrating the compass. It just takes a moment. Uh, now the compass is calibrating exactly with the way I'm walking, and that makes life a lot better.